Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you a trophy guide on Mafia Definitive Edition. Mafia is a game that takes around 30 hours to platinum. In terms of difficulty, I would say that it's around a 6 out of 10. It takes to play through to platinum the game. There is no online trophy that are required for the platinum. And there is two difficulty related trophy for this game. There is 44 trophies. 21 are story related. 13 are related to collectibles. There is 7 misc trophies. And 2 are difficulty related one. You will get most of the trophies by doing the story and getting all the collectibles that there is in the game. Most of the trophies for this game are not that hard except for the trophy where you need to complete the game on classic difficulty, but I will talk about it later. So now let's take a quick look at the roadmap. First you will need to complete the story. By completing the story you will unlock all these trophies that are related to the story. While doing the story you will need to focus on two trophies. The not classy trophy and heat from the cops. You will be able to do the not classy trophy during chapter 5. During chapter 5 there will be a race and after that race you will need to get Polly home. But instead you will take him somewhere else. You will take him at this exact spot on the map. By doing so the mission will complete and you will unlock the trophy. So now for the eat from the cup trophy. You need to escape a 5 star police chase. Near the end of chapter 17, you will get a 5 star police chase due to some story event. There's a simple technique to escape this police chase that I will link in the description. There's a last thing that I want to talk about in the story, is that there is collectible that are only obtainable during the story playthrough. So I advise you that you already start checking some collectible guides. There will be a link in the description for every collectible guide that you need for this game. If you happen to miss a collectible during the story, don't worry, you can replay every chapter by using a chapter selection feature and get the collectible that you're missing. Talking about collectibles, now it's time for the step 2 of this roadmap. Now you will get all the collectibles and missed trophy in the game. As I said earlier, there will be guides in the description for every collectible guide that you will need. The only trophy that I want to talk about is the Motor Museum trophy. For this trophy you need to get 30 cars in your garage. To get a car in your garage you simply need to enter the car. Once you enter the car, it will automatically be put into the garage. The reason that I want to talk about this collectible, it's because it's not a conventional collectible. These are spread around the city, unlike the others where they were at some specific spot. But like the other collectibles, I will link a guide in the description on how to find the cars. Now for the missed trophy, we'll take a look at them one by one. There's 5 missed trophy that you need to get at this point. Line pocket, not taken in, car enthusiast, that motor can move, and stunt rider. For line pockets, you will need to pay a fine to the police. In order to do that, you will need to punch a civilian and by doing so you should get 1 star. Anything more than 1 star will not work. So from this point you just need to wait for the police to do their job and they will give you a fine. And when you will pay the fine, you will unlock the trophy. For the not taken in trophy, you will need to resist an arrest. To resist an arrest, you will need to get a 2 star police chase. To do so, you will need to take a car and ram some civilian. When you finally get a 2 star police chase, just wait for the police, get out of your car and let them do their jobs. At some point there will be a triangle that will appear on the screen. At this point you just need to press triangle to resist the arrest. Now for the car enthusiast trophy, you will need to lockpick 5 cars. To lockpick a car, it's pretty simple. Just approach it and press the left button on your d-pad. When you do this, you will lockpick the car. Just repeat the process 5 times and the trophy should be yours. For the that motor can move trophy, you need to hit 50 miles per hour with the bolt haze. But the bolt haze is one of the slowest cars in the game and 50 miles per hour is the maximum speed of the car. To hit 50 miles per hour with the car, you should go at this exact spot on the map. And by going there, just drive in a straight line and you should hit 50 miles per hour without any problem. Finally, for the stunt rider trophy, you will need to do a wheelie. To do a wheelie, you will need to first get a bike from your garage. After, go in a somewhat straight line and hold the acceleration and handbrake button. Then, let go of the handbrake button and tilt the left joystick towards you. 
By doing so, you should do a wally for 3 seconds. Now there is only one step and one trophy left, and it's this one. Here's some tips that will help you do the game on classic difficulty. To beat the game on classic difficulty, the best advice that I could give you is to take your time. Kill the enemy one by one, take cover, and the game will seem easy even though you're on classic difficulty. Also, in this mode, if you reload and there's ammo left in your clip, you will lose the ammo. To avoid that, you simply need to make sure that you reload your gun when your clip is empty. Another thing that could help you is to take every ammo that the enemies drop. They are represented by an X on the minimap. I highly recommend that you take all the ammo that the enemies drop, because that way you will never run out of ammo. But one of the hardest challenges in the classic mode is not the enemies. During chapter 5, you need to complete a race, and that race is pretty difficult. I'm gonna link in the description a guide that will show you how to complete the race without a problem. So that's all for today's trophy guide. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want more content. I hope I'll see you next time, goodbye.